Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Bite. I'm Corey Knockrander. Today's story is a new boot kit called Boot Trash. This comes from research from FireEye and an article on Ars Technica. In any case, FireEye has been researching a malware kit called Nemesis. It's a kit that's been targeting financial services, banks, and ATM services, and things like that. In any case, the latest article talks about its boot kit. A boot kit is essentially something that tries to take over the master boot record record of your hard drive so that even if you erase all your data, it can actually re-establish a foothold on your newly installed computer. In any case, this new research talks about boot trash. This is a new boot kit that's found associated with this Nemesis malware. Like many boot kits, it modifies the master boot record. Specifically, it installs itself in something called the volume boot record. Once it does that, it actually creates a secret virtual file system on your hard drive and even if you delete your partitions and your, format your hard drive, it can actually install itself again after you've reinstalled a new operating system. Now, I expect this will be an increasing trend with malware. Bad guys always are trying to retain persistence on your computer. They want to make it so that they can reinstall themselves even if you format your hard drive. So we're going to see more and more of this with traditional malware that targets traditional operating systems. But as you'll see in my 2016 predictions, you should also expect this to start affecting the Internet of Things. Uh, many Internet of Things devices are unique in that they don't tend to have local storage. Instead, they have a firmware, a embedded operating system. In many cases, the only way to establish persistence on these devices are to actually infect the boot process of that firmware operating system. So what can we do about boot kits, whether or not they're infecting traditional operating systems or new devices? Well, the answer is secure boot. Modern operating systems like the latest versions of Windows 8 through 10 support new booting processes like UEFI, which includes a secure boot mechanism. Long story short, if you use UEFI with secure boot, this sort of malware is not going to be able to infect your operating system. Now the problem is secure boot may be an issue for people that use older operating systems such as Windows 7 or Windows XP. While some of these operating systems can support UEFI boot processes if they have the proper mother board, they do not support secure boot. That said, this particular malware can only work if you're using a traditional master boot record. There's a new type of partition called a GUID partition, and this malware cannot infect that type of partition. So if you're a Windows 7 user, you might think about using a GUID partition to avoid boot trash. So what about traditional antivirus and advanced threat protection? Well, both those type of systems can catch this sort of nemesis malware if it's infected your computer and is running as a process. However, they may not be able to actually catch the part of the master boot record that's been infected. In fact, they surely won't be able to do this. So if you do get infected by this type of malware, you have to totally wipe your hard drive, not just reinstall an OS on a new partition, but completely physically wipe the hard drive. Anyways, that's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.